She ate it. Incredible. One of my worst batches of mac and cheese, and uh, she never doubted it was made with Velveeta for a second. How could I possibly be expected to work in the cheese room on a day like this? This is my 17th day. I've been sequestered, and uh, it's getting pretty tough coming up with new cheese and wheat combinations. If I go for 20, I'll probably have to whip up a cake. Cheese, of course. So I better make this one count. Now, the key to faking out the cheese is the milky sauce. It's a good non-specific mix. I'm a big believer in it. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that um, a nice thick cheddar and noodles is a deadlock, but uh, you get a nervous cheese and uh, you could wind up a cheese-eating mutant yourself. And that's worse than the dairy. Now, you add the extra milk, and uh, when she's distra distracted, like during her molting cycle, wailing and moaning, you quickly cut in the less quality stuff. It's a little childish and stupid, but then again, so is cheese making. Sequestration moves pretty slow, and if you don't stop and look around, it could pass you by altogether. I did sacrifice some sharp today. That's no coagulant. When it was on BOGO anyway. I mean, really, what's the point? She needs it. I don't plan on being eaten myself or worse. So who gives a crap if I give her, give all the cheese to her? I mean, she may be an alien shapeshifter, and it still doesn't change the fact that I'm running out of queso. A hanker for a hunk of slab, a slice of chunk of hankering for a hunk of cheese. Sorry. I quote W.C. Fields then. The clever cat eats cheese and breathes down rats' holes with bated breath. There's a good point there. After all, he was a comedy king. I could be a king. And I'd still have to cut the crust off of a double slice grilled cheese sandwich. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.